Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, uh, whatever time of day this is for you. Morning for me, as usual. Welcome. It's me, Wingish, Nibay, Mujeki Kwe, Sweet Grass Water, Medicine Woman. Your friendly, freaking Medicine Woman. Also, Christiana Carr and Chris Carr, Jupiter. Yep, all this beautiful divine being right here. And welcome to you, beautiful divine beings, right here, too. How's it? going here i am on a tuesday what is it a tell it or try it tuesday and i was thinking hmm let me give you something to try if you like it's open a suggestion and i've been uploading my little my little sing-along videos that's me new ways of being music's always been healing for me i mean one of my first business ideas was crazy christy cars dance therapy i was gonna my own studio, turn like an old like mechanic shop or something, and that's what I was gonna build my apartment and dance studio in there, and you know because music has always been healing for me, right? Crazy Chris Cars dance therapy, though the dancing hurts me more. It's still healing, and I haven't been in a long time, and even I don't even do it around my house like I used to. Like that's how I do cleaning and everything. Put on the music. I let the music move me always and I can't help it when I don't let it the music moves me I hear music something's tapping something's moving <laughs> always um, so the most the most I've been listening to it now actually is in my in my car in my van um, it's even still at home it's hard I've shared some of those videos too where I just can't help myself I gotta get up and dance move right that's the emotions and that's how i've always worked through my emotions right emotions energy in motion right you work through those ah you know like the angry <laughs> and yeah i'm still in my pajamas <laughs> it's still morning ow i'm not gonna do that Right? Dancing does help loosen up that body. It's a good cardio. It's a good full body workout. It's amazing. I got to do more gentle ways, but I mean, look at the ways, the different ways of dancing. The, and, and, well, and even just not just in the dancing, the genres of music and stuff like that too, but the ways that we can move our bodies to express emotions. Was that like crumping? Is that really hard hitting stuff, right? The popping locks and, you know, and we're doing the break dancing. <laughs> I know, there's a move I made up because I never saw it until I did it. And that was like spinning around on one knee. I didn't make it up, I know. <laughs> oh, I remember my brothers and I would watch those. We'd go try our breakdancing moves out in the back and stuff. That was fun. That was fun. Remember those breakdancing days? they bring out those big ghettos and they throw down that cardboard. You're doing your spins on the cardboard. Oh, those good old times, you know. No, music can bring people together and just, you know, and the sounds. It's sounds that started the universe, right? The Big Bang or God saying, let there be light. It was the the voice, the, the sound, right? They say the first sound we all hear is that heartbeat, right? The drum, right? It connects us to earth. There's also in the stories about the rattle being like a primordial sound too. Right? Mm. Oh, I uh, so, what I want you to, what, oh, excuse me, Fort Point thing. I thought, I thought, I want to pull this because, you know, maybe so I'm not feeling so alone. Because I know I'm not alone. I've seen, I've seen, seen other people do this too, but I like to see. I like to see some people like, no, how about, how about, how about record yourself? Whether you're doing like a cartoons, karaoke, you know, dancing around your living room or whatever. Piece of music. Choose a piece of music to help you move through an emotion. And I would love to see that. But. Even if you don't record it or share it, you know, that is just try it for for you. Maybe you do it already. Maybe you do it already. But maybe there's some place where you might be stuck. You might need some clarity or something, right? You got to get those energies to flow in. Excuse me. I'm going to put some 
oil on my hands. My special oil that I make, and I put my label on there. Hey, eh? mmm, raw, bright as the high CBD. I put arnica in it and peppermint, uh, lavender. <laughs> And I put the lid on too tight. <laughs> wow, that's also because when you're oh man, you ever try to open it? You know, oh, that hurts the wrist. Oh my goodness, <laughs> this makes me feel like a uh, I got strong muscles. <laughs> I can't get my oil open. I gonna need even more now. <laughs> Ouch. Oh, okay. I can do this. Okay. Let me see. I have a sip here first. I need me spinach. <laughs> Traction. Let me see. <laughs> okay. Like, 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 right in the middle. Of, like, right in here. Felt something. Felt something trying to twist. Everything's so connected. Wow, you don't even realize I. Ah, there we go. Oh, I never realized it until this, right? But that's you know, information super highway. Everything goes through that central nervous system, huh? Mine's gonna squeeze on it, gets all mixed up. All I can do is laugh or be crying all the time. <laughs> oh, I'm so god. I I'm so god. A pain it messes me right up. So glad God gave me the gift, being able to laugh at myself. Oh goodness. Oh. And I came by that honestly. Oh, I got made fun of a lot. You know what movie helped me out? You ever see um. Roxanne, with, um, Steve Martin. Oh yeah, the was um. On the story of um, Cyrano de Borgiac. The Borgiac? I don't know how you pronounce it properly. Yeah, this whole story of the guy with the big nose, right? It's Roxanne. Oh, and Daryl Hannah. Oh, love that one. Steve Martin, Daryl Hannah. 80s, early 90s? Yeah. But there's that scene in there and he's throwing darts. This one guy made fun of his nose. And he's like, you think I haven't heard that before? So throw these darts and I'll make fun more funny jokes than you <laughs> about my nose so he did that you see that so learning to laugh at yourself you know there's that old saying sticks and stones right why do we get offended by names you know maybe it's because we maybe heard that before maybe that's what we think of ourselves I and mean, you know hope nobody else would notice that i don't know what is that Maybe that's something, right? Maybe somebody said something and, you know, it's made you angry or sad or whatever, but instead of going and confronting, maybe release it in some music and see how that goes after. Right? Right? Let the music move you and shift you. We don't need that. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, I hear the crickets out there. It's beautiful sounds and music in nature. Yeah. Oh. oh, my shoulder's still. I, I fell outside putting that thing up on my thing. Put the thing up on my thing. You understand what I'm saying? Okay. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, okay. So, right, right. So, trying it, trying it. You got a piece of music. Move through. Get an emotion you want to move through. Pick it. Or maybe it's random. I mean, when I'm driving in my van, I love it. I, I put on the auto-generated playlist. And now my playlist is expanded since with my YouTube stuff. Ow. Oh. So, but that's where I've been doing a lot of my music stuff has been in my van. <laughs> I hurt myself in there, too. Oh, my God. I had my, my hip. Oh. Pain in my butt because you know one leg. I can't. I can't bop with this leg. It's gonna drive. 
right? Control the accelerator. So the other one keeps pushing me. <laughs> and I'll get up in my seat and I even... <laughs> uh, uh, I hurt myself. But hey, I'm hurting myself. Right. Right, that's up to me. And, you know, I'm going to hurt by others. No blame. No blame. I see the lessons that I needed to learn. So, and I still love, I still love, oh, excuse me. I still love everybody. I love, my love is, is unconditional. I got to reconnect with somebody I haven't seen in 23 years. Oh my goodness. It was like my first love, you know. And well, there was issues. It was first. And I was young, didn't know what I was doing. I think we both broke each other's hearts, but you know, it's amazing how when you can make those kinds of connections and they're and they're genuine, right? That even after twenty three years <laughs> and sit back and chuckle and Think about the times when you were a kid, and there's no grudges held. There's no, you know, like I told them. <laughs> I never even called him an asshole. Like most of my exes, big dummies or whatever, you know, or hey, it just didn't work. Ain't nothing wrong with them, and nothing wrong with me. It just wasn't, you know. Why keep spending the time here when you could be spending the time, you know? somebody more suited to you in that way you know so let's just hang out and be friends that's how i've always been chill like that man it's kind of unusual because i haven't met too many like that i mean i have been one that's got jealous before but then not so much i was always one i was never 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 jealous and secure if i say never 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 right never say never of course of course, there were times where I had to learn my lessons in that, too. But then I learned, right? So I figured that, well, whatever. If I'm with somebody and then go off with somebody else, well, hey, somebody else just did me a favor. Maybe that, okay, well, then fine. That shows that well, we weren't meant to be, right? Because I think we're meant to be. I think everything is meant to be. Not everything is meant to be forever, right? Well... And I learned a long time ago, it's not that person in front of me. You know, because people, people are similar. It's these feelings, the personalities, you know. Oh, this part's I like. And this is, this is how I like me because I'm with them, right? So, I had a, I had a miscarriage. Mm, music helped me work through that too. Dancing around. But, uh, I've, I've had two. The first one was when my eldest boy was two or three and that you know that relationship didn't didn't work out um and so that was um something for me you know i didn't i didn't i didn't save myself for marriage but i wanted to have kids in marriage right so i thought that would you know then then their dad would be there for that. I never believed that we need to stay together for kids or anything like that. But, you know, so it was good that that happened. I, um, it was a blessing. It was sad. It took me a long time. A lot of time by the fire. A lot of time in the treehouse at my daddy's place. A lot of time writing, the music, oh, of course, the music, even more than now because I could dance around then and it didn't hurt. It helped more than it hurt. Yeah. So, and then in like two years to get over that one, that was a very short relationship. But then I realized, right? That's what I realized. It wasn't about him. It was about that connection that I felt and I wanted to feel that kind of connection with somebody right so and i feel that in all of our relationships they're reflecting back to us something about ourselves that we need to learn and you know and that's why i've always looked at it. i don't need somebody to complete me it's complimenting me right we need to be able to survive on our own otherwise that's it's not a healthy 
relationship if we cannot survive without the other. You know what I mean? It's, you know, you have your own lives and then the life you share together, right? So you have two whole lives and you can share your life with somebody else, right? It's that interdependence. It's not enmeshment and, oh, I can't breathe without you. Those are more toxic, more codependent sort of relationships, which we're kind of used to in this society, isn't it? Right? Listen to all our love songs and in those movies and stuff that promote those kind of unhealthy, toxic relationships. It's not about possession and owning somebody. It's about freeing, right? We're people. People are not possessions. Right? I don't know. Like what? I'm not to be possessed. Right? You can protect me, but don't possess me. <laughs> I've said that my whole life, too. Take me as I am. I started to change that, though, because I didn't think that was accepted. But I'm getting back to me. I'm getting back to me, and I'm going to be me, no matter what. Okay? That's how you like me best, anyway, right? So, right? Got to, got to be me. If I'm not me, who else is going to be? Right? If you're not you, who's going to be you? Then the world's missing out on the light that we shine through. <laughs> Weirdo. So, try it. Here we go. We're on a 20-minute Tuesdays. Try it. The music. I would, I would love to see it myself, but take a piece. Whatever it is for you, whatever it moves you, you know, is it is it the lyrics? Do you like singing it? Like in which way does it move you? Do do you need to get up and move your body with this music? What is it? So try and moving to that piece and do tell me. Tell me. What is a piece of music that you find has helped you the most? Do you get like me, right? I'm going through something and I, it'll just start playing in my head, right? So music is like messages too. And it's like, it's like a radio in my head. Like I hear it as if it's on the radio. Um, sometimes it's in repeat because my brain's not remembering the whole song or maybe it's just the chorus part that I needed or whatever. But does that happen to anybody else? Eh? I'm sure it does. But, you know, share. Share on that is for you. Okay. So try it and then tell me about it. That would be wonderful. You know, share. Let's get it out there. Shine your beautiful light. Right? If it's not music, what works for you? How do you help shift? How do you right get that energy in motion? What works for you? Love to hear about it. Okay, I'm out of here. Mm, biggest heart hugs ever. Oh, thank you for being you and shining your light through in everything you do. Because you know what? This world needs you. It'll be you. Thank you.